Ladies and gentlemen, he is rated number world in the world by the WBC. He is the challenger, Frank Bruno. He is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. I'm cautioning you again. Obey my commands at all times. Is there any questions? Shake hands, good luck. Advantage as a lion going against the zebra. And I'd have to agree. Tries to keep him off. Bruno showing that he's not afraid. Hanging on. Bruno's already tagged with the right hand. And there goes Bruno. The first right hand that caught him. He went down. He'll have to take the standing eight count. Hey, you all right? Take it away. I don't think points will mean anything by the time this fight's over. But Frank Bruno is trying to make a fight of it. He's hanging on. But Tyson is certainly. Bruno has all the pride of England standing for him. He gets tagged again by a right hand. He's trying to hang on to Mike and hit. Mike is just looking for an opportunity. Tyson by catching him in the first round. He's nailed again to the body and then to deliver that right hand to the head. The right hand catches Bruno. Left hook. Bruno looks ready to go. Now is what he's going to hang on in his fight. No holding, no holding. Tyson, lightning. Bruno has got to throw that right hand more and try to catch Tyson with a left hook. Bruno looks a little wobbly already. Right hand misses Frank Bruno. Bruno has come to try and mix it up. He's hanging on to the head of Tyson. Tyson not a the ring. He knows he's in with the ball. Tyson gets nailed with a left hook. Tyson looks wobbly. As he attacks Bruno, Bruno continues to behind the head of Mike Tyson. Like to be inspected so far. 4-12. A lot of people didn't think we'd get to the fourth round in this fight. Mike Bruno is just kind of a stand-up guy, almost tailor-made for Tyson. At time he caught him with a side. That light, oh, another right hand gets through. Come on, Perk, to get out of The fight's been so fast and so exciting, it's hard to do that. But a special hello to Chris Myram's first round and the chant from the better than 5,000 British subjects that are here cheering for Bruno to do something against Tyson. Bruno's clear, but he knows the power of Mike Tyson. Tyson, if ever there was a guy fighting, doesn't do anything to him. Tyson back up bouncing. Well, all the questions about distractions have been answered as Tyson attacks. Tyson misses wild with the left uppercut. Mike Tyson doesn't seem to have that fiery look in his eyes right now as he lunges for the challenger inside a punch drop. Mike catches him with a good left hook, and Bruno has the wherewithal in round which made us all think, well, that's what all was going to happen. But then Bruno suddenly Punching caught out. Mike Tyson Punching with a shot. And Bruno, if he hopes to win, has got to let that right hand fly. Tyson knows that he can catch up with Bruno right now. Bruno trying to keep him up. And the bell's in. And there's the right hand that caught Tyson and buckled his legs. In fact, for the betting public, round three is an important round. Right hand cut Bruno right in the But Tyson doesn't get frustrated. He just goes about his business. He's bleeding from the nose. He was down in the very early seconds as Tyson nails him with the uppercut. Now Frank comes very slowly into the world. And people are interested in that around here. How about hanging on and hitting Mike Tyson? Tyson pummels him with the right hand. Mike trying to set him up with the left hand to that right hand in close. Punch get out. Tyson continues to come in. Bruno just really bores in like a madman almost. Frank has got to start throwing that right hand. Tyson is almost measuring him now. There's advantage, but Tyson doesn't get frustrated. He just looks to throw the shot. Bruno was able to block that inside. Is going to give Tyson both hands free. Hey, continue to fight after the bell. Trying to control this guy as best he can. Got to work his gut more. Vicious looking guy. Look at him. Terry Lawless and George Francis, the keys. All right, here we go, round four. Bob Sheridan here. Tyson just looking to set his man up. He's back in the assault. He tries to reach him inside with a short, crisp shot. Bruno ties him up inside. It's clear, but he was caught by a shot by Frank Bruno. Tyson trying to fight back. Vicious body shot. 
Lisa, his sister, who's also watching in New Zealand. Well, in such magnificent shape. Big, vicious body shot. Tyson attacks with a left of his own. Bruno is caught by a right hand and a left hook. Bruno comes back. Get the and idea that it's a question of time before Mike catches him. Has some real good shots there in the style that Bruno is fighting here. Uppercut comes that time. We're in the closing seconds now of round four. The bell ends round. As the rounds go by, this man, Frank Bruno, gains a little bit more confidence. All right, here we go with round number five. And Tyson attacks him. His last time out against Bugner, Bruno had to go eight rounds. So Bruno attempting to make a better fight of this than most people thought possible. He's lost every round, make no mistake about it. Tyson, on the other hand, Tyson gives him room to come off the ropes. Scores with the uppercut. Lancer, big right hand. Bruno's in big trouble now. He's ready to go. He hits him with the right hand. The seat's about eight or 9,000 here at the Hill Hotel. Bruno was caught that time, and Tyson knows it. Tyson trying to attack now to finish him off. He can. He's still in big trouble. The uppercut catches him. The right hand catches him. Bruno is knee and take an eight count. Instead of letting this guy nail him with a flush right hand. Blood coming from the nose. His eyes are puffy. Tyson is punished. Should not be saved by the bell as the big right hand lands. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele stopped the fight. It's all over. Michael Tyson wins on a fifth round. TKO. It came at 255 of the fifth round. Mike Tyson. Outstanding. Punish and pummeling Frank Bruno. Thank you.